Hello again, YouTube, and whoa. I have legitimately never seen a final table with all eight players this close to start it off. Usually, there is somebody just clinging on for dear life with like 10 big blinds who's bound to go out soon. Actually, usually there's three people. <laughs> <laughs> really short stack just trying to say they made the final table here everybody look it looks like everybody's trying everyone's super super close but first of all of course the people who did not make it the low down this is oss 31 medium we have a 109 dollar buy-in once again but it's hold'em which means that there are more people which means that the guarantee was seventy five thousand dollars as you can see, the real prize pool is 99800 Actually, you can't see that. I realize that. But yeah, the real prize pool is 99800 And... Nine. Okay. So those are the people who almost made it. Now we're starting off with blinds at 100,000, 200,000. Another piece of lowdown is this one started out with 15 minute levels, and then after the insanely late, late reg, they became 12 minutes. So not a huge downgrade. Notice that uh, Zeta Poker, Charlie AB, and Mr. Pucho did not get dealt any cards in this hand. So this <laughs> was a bit of an awkward final table setup, but the robots do what they can. Book Grant, one of only three non-Americans coming at us from Belarus. Habib S. from Brazil and Mr. Pucho from Argentina. Another final table dominated by Americans. Although last time, it was the Colombian who won. And we get aces right off the bat for Zeta Poker. <laughs> and call me crazy, but I think he's going to get some action. Already getting action from the, from Book Grant, understandably with a King Jack. Now with aces, this is probably let's see, one million, one point one million, or just a call. Not a huge fan of this because this could open up the possibility of a four way or a five way hand, and. If you do that, then congratulations, your pocket aces are like 50% against three random hands. Maybe like 55%, but still, you don't want to be taking that kind of risk. Now, Habib has a hand that's certainly worthy of raising, so Zeta Poker is going to get away with it. One joke sicker could probably find the fold there, he does. Loco for Coco folds, Book Grant will probably find the exit button. Now for Zeta Poker going all in here. Habib already put in 1.6 million. I don't think he can put it into fold. Yeah. Can't really get away from it. And sadly enough, he doesn't even have a spade. He's going to need a miracle. He's going to need King King or Jack Queen. That's it. Nope. Aces hold. Zeta Poker doubles up to 10.6 million. And now he is the one player with an eight-digit stack. Amazing, though, that eight players all have the same digits. And still, this hasn't this hasn't uh, opened up a huge gap yet. Habib's still very much in it with 4.1 million. Missy has bottom pair and elects to raise with it. Bit unusual, but it works out nicely. Wants to drive out any funny drawing hands. Charlie with certainly a raisable hand himself. Book Grant, last man standing. He sure takes his sweet time pre flop, doesn't he? It's pre-flop, dude.
pair of eights for Book Grant. Nothing for Charlie. Charlie now has the nut no pair, which might actually make Kim content to keep checking. And, well, now he's got, uh, now he has a yes pair. Maybe a good spot for thin value, but Grant clearly, the way he's played the hand, doesn't have an ace. He does go for thin value, and a pretty nice fold, actually. I would have had to pay that one off myself. Jack-10, 7-6. They would all throw out a bet like that. Granted, they both probably would have um, been the flop. Maybe that's maybe that was factored into that fold. Either way, good discipline. I'm getting a phone call from an area code I don't recognize, so I'm just gonna. Oh no, pocket nines are here. The call from Book Grant. Can't say I disagree with that with that play by Book Grant because things are just so tight right now. There's no clear short stacks, so anytime you get into a pot, you're you're risking the chance to go out eighth when you still have almost as good a chance to go out first. Well, you wouldn't be going out first, but you know you know what I'm saying. Book Grant has very, <laughs> very low regard for his time bank, doesn't he? Pocket nines are in a precarious position as usual. Book Grant picks up a gut shot, elects to check it, and that's a safe board for pocket nines, I guess. I imagine Book Grant will be content to check it down with the ASI. So the two aliens have a, pretty much a stalemate. Pocket nines, amazingly, holding up, but not for a huge pot. Sprays might get through. This is going to be tedious. It's a good thing I have this 2x button. I'm sure if I were actually out there in the heat of the moment guaranteed let's see what what, what would i be guaranteed about 20 times the buy-in yeah 109 buy-in then i would be on the edge of my seat this whole time regardless of how slow everybody's playing charlie with a decision here probably considering the all-in doesn't go all in but does make the three bet and take the pot down as a spectator <laughs> yeah i i have absolutely no qualms about about uh doubling the speed here because otherwise we're gonna be here way too long mr pucho with a quality hand i wish so i wish somebody would do a more than min raise just mix it up a little bit be original one joke sicker oh was deciding on whether to raise or call Mr. Pucho with a bit of a decision. I'll keep the two X button on. This is getting. This is. <laughs> these guys are. These guys are. Are like glaciers. You you only you only get to see them move if you uh, put them in time lapse. Here we go. A couple of twos, and the big stack. Good spot to raise. Charlie though with another good spot to three bet. I assume another 1.6 million because everybody is absolutely slavishly. Nope, oh, never mind. He actually decided to be original, and it works. I like the fall from the twos. There's just not a whole lot of upside to playing them post swap, especially in a bloated pot. Either you hit or you fold. All right, here's a bit of a flop here. Loco for Coco with a combo draw. Missy with just a pair and no kicker, but it is a pair. Antonio Esfandiari always says it's hard to make a pair. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody actually make these guys move. Oh wait, that's me. 
I have that power. I'm probably gonna have it in two X this whole friggin' final table at this rate. This is <laughs> this is becoming ridiculous. Right, Ace Queen suited against eight. Here we go. Here we go. That flop dances right around one joke sicker's hand, although it doesn't really help him much. Does bet it though, and Charlie A B has very little use for this flop. Not enough, not quite zero, but not much. He is gonna fold it. As the shorter stack, again, thinking of ICM, no doubt. Which is absolutely understandable here. Really wish I'd see some non-min raises. Zeta Poker with a hand here. And that flop is all Zeta Poker. One joke sicker, completely airballs. But he will bet it. Zeta Poker just calls. That would not have been a bad spot to raise, but considering these are the two big big stacks, I kind of understand. Of course, I can see the cards, and I can see that... Okay, now he's betting. I, I must say, I don't quite understand that. He check calls and then leads out out of position on the next street, which didn't help him. It works out here. That's just kind of a weird way to play the hand. I think the last couple of times that I played a hand like that, I got raised out of my shoes. <laughs> but Grant was three jack off suit with no reason to tank at all. Whoa, that is a light shove if I ever saw one. Obviously going for... For just picking up the pot and did. And his reward is a much better hand here. And he might get some action from Habib S. Habib S. K. That's from, he's from Brazil. So the E.S. does not stand for Espanol or España. Small raise from the huge pocket pair. Which is I guess standard. If you happen to have a big pocket pair. Habib S with a very tough decision here. Frankly, in that spot, I'm I'm probably just all in, even though the reason why I would go all in there is because when you make a small three bet with stacks this shallow, everybody is gonna look at that and think you've got aces or kings. Everybody. It just sticks out like a sore thumb. You would never make a small three bet with any hand other than aces or kings. So if you want the if you want to actually increase your chances of getting action, ironically enough, you probably want to shove. Let's see if Habib can make that read. Or maybe his hand's just too strong to fold. But there were over over nine hundred and ninety entrants here. He got to the final eight. Can he suss this out? No, he cannot. And that flop is of negative five use. <laughs> That's just a terrible, terrible flop. And he's going to need an ace. That's all. Nope. Habib S is our first victim. Charlie AB takes him out with the pocket kings. But that is a 20, a 20 times return on investment for Habib. I'm sure he will look back on this with much fondness and pride. I see pocket nines again. Loco for Coco. Oh, yes! Yes! Not a min raise. Oh, it's beautiful. And from a tight player, too. So Missy's already probably got a few misgivings about the situation. Makes the call, which I think objectively would be a rather poor play, but I totally get it. We haven't seen Loco for Coco do anything to, at this final table, and she just raised 2.5x under the gun, so I totally get it. And another horrible flop for Pocket Nines. This time, Loco for Coco does have the better hand. And she checks. Going for a check raise, perhaps? Missy with, oh wow, does decide to, to bet it out.
The only thing local for Coker should be worried about here is a higher ace. Or maybe even something like ace five suited. Or pocket fives. But suddenly she's playing defensively. I'm not quite sure why. And Missy, for some reason, playing aggressively with that terrible hand. I hate pocket nines. Local for Coco is still safe with 3.6 million out there. And makes a really, really small blocker bet. But it works. Nice fold there by Missy. That is why I don't play pocket nines. Oh, this flop's fun. Middle pair and a flush draw for one joke sicker and top pair for loco for Coco. I wonder who Coco is. Perhaps the orange dragon of Hololive? Oh my. <laughs> uh, check, please. <laughs> or, it could be, or she could be turning her hand into a bluff here. No, nah, he's going to check, and the king works. Could also be Coco Goff, of course. The tennis player. I used to sort of follow tennis, but I don't really anymore. Mostly because... Oh, wow, surprising raise there. Mostly because I actually tried out for the tennis team in my high school, and uh, I was showing significant improvement, you know, at, you know, during the trials. But I pretty much screwed myself when, um, when I ended up eating breakfast, like finishing it like five minutes before going out the door. Wow, what an all-in! Zeta Poker will into sickest tournament life with the, with the Queen King suited. Very brave shove there, and he now has separated a bit from this table. Well, he and Charlie. Yeah, anyway, um, oh shoot, <laughs> Queens against Ace King here. I'm not gonna be able to get my anecdote out of the way. Okay, it's not it's not an anecdote, it's just a tangent, let's be honest. Well, this is almost certainly gonna be an all in. The ultimate frip. Looking for Coco with an ace out of the way, but not too much else. Bad news. Does go for the all-in, Mr. Pucho. No way he folds queens. That's Fripp. Let's frip. Are you really going to fold queens? No, you're not. Okay, thank you. Oh, black cards. All of them black. Loco for Coco certainly likes the look of that. There we go. We got some We got some action here. So king, ace, or any spade. There's no chop outs. So ace, king, or spade for Loco for Coco. Otherwise, down to two big blinds. And no good. Double up for Mr. Pucho. Loco for Coco now in horrific shape. Better get this this uh tangent out while Coco's still here. <laughs> um I, I, I screwed myself because the last day of uh of tryouts, I was finishing my breakfast about five minutes before leaving the house and going to school. And uh I should have known better. I shouldn't have even eaten breakfast at all because they did warm you up by making you run around the uh, the court a little bit. And yeah, that breakfast didn't last very long. Let's put it that way. 
I wasn't explicitly told that that was why I didn't make the team, but that was why I didn't make the team. Let's be real. And unfortunately, Loco for Coco picks up a, a decent hand. The Kings are way better, and she needs an eight and an eight only. No good. The Kings wipe her out. Loco for Coco. We'll have to settle for seventh place. But well done indeed making it here. $2,933 of your 109 investment. Uh, rebuy is notwithstanding, obviously. As ACR lets you rebuy indefinitely as well as late reg way later than you should ever be allowed to. Data Poker going with more than min rays. It is blind v blind, and we got some action here. They both pair their their ten top pair on the board. Charlie, of course, with the better of it. We've got these three kind of forming a powerful entity. The other three are, I don't want to say cowering in fear, but certainly. Looking at them with a little bit of envy, but the pecking order could really change here. There's a raise of 1.2 million by Charlie AB. Zeta Poker really shouldn't go anywhere just yet. He's getting almost 4 to 1 on the call here. Has top pair with a heart and a 9 for backdoor outs. Only 1.2 million into that pot. And that is the ideal turn card for Zeta Poker. Really, like Zeta Poker handpicked that card. And checks it. At that point, I'd be tempted to just shove, personally. But I do recognize that that's probably the correct thing to do. And the Ace of Hearts. Charlie hits two pair. Zeta hits the flush. There are, of course, two hearts out there larger than the 10. If he saw Charlie's hand, he'd probably bet maybe 2 million. I was going to bet a lot smaller than that. Well, he's going to get he's gonna get called. Zeta Poker, nicely played there. And Charlie, with Aces up there, has to make the call for sure. Getting those kind of odds. That's a big hit to Charlie AB. Zeta 6 4 suited. A hand that I've enjoyed in the past. Lindley has over 60 big blinds. Mr. Pucho with 6 2 offsuit. Please fold. This hand should be quick. We have Kings against, well, those cards. Uh, so he's thinking he's thinking more along the lines of me going 3.5x thinking well if I raise big there's no way they're gonna put me on Kings unfortunately I love like totally get the logic but oh wow this is not gonna commit all his chips with eight nine no. totally get the logic but when the big blinds got a hand that terrible it doesn't really matter here we go these two can't seem to stay away from each other, Zeta and Charlie. But it's not personal, they're just being dealt big hands. A totally normal min raise, and pretty big 3-bet to 2.1 million. But Zeta decides to fold instantly, huh? Maybe that 3-bet was just a little bit, little bit too large. And look at that, they're both being dealt hands again. Why do the robots want these two to kill each other so much? Why them? Why only them? I don't think Zeta's folding this time. <laughs> okay. A little excessive. I only saw 7 million behind. Zeta really wants him to fold. 
He's not gonna. He's gonna go with the pocket eights and gamble, which is a bit unusual based from the final tables that we've seen, especially with Book Grant and Missy below four million. And Charlie is not happy with that flop. The spade isn't even working for him because Zeta Poker's got the king of spades. He's just gonna need an eight. That's it. That's not it. And that's not it. Charlie AB had such a promising start, but the robots just decreed that he was going to have to play Zeta Poker at some point. Zeta Poker now stands alone way above the crowd. Charlie AB settles for sixth and $4,018. Oh, book grant might shove here. Nope. Okay. Zeta with another large raise for Blind Feet Blind. Mr. Pucho probably has better things to do than gamble with King 3. Okay, never mind. Oh, we got some we got some hands here. Blush drop for Mr. Pucho. Ace high and gut shot for Zeta. What would be the sickest possible turn card? The Ace of Diamonds? Pretty big bet by Zeta Poker. I don't think Mr. Pucho's going anywhere yet. I mean, you don't play King 3 of Diamonds and then flop 2 Diamonds and then fold. All the 4 of Clubs. That's kind of ugly. Zeta. Two point four million. He's still applying the pressure, and Mr. Pucho has to know that if he calls, he's probably facing an all-in on the river, and he doesn't want to do that. Zeta suddenly exploding way past the pack. Missy with Jack Ten suited, five-handed. Nope. Missy and Book Grant clearly are just trying to fold their way past each other. Zeta Poke. Okay, that is beyond excessive. That is a horrible shove. That was a 31 big blind effective all in, like open shove with pocket sixes. That was terrible. Well, you might think that you're insanely far ahead, but if Mr. Pucha wakes up with like pocket queens and just insta calls you, guess what? You're tied. In fact, Mr. Pucha actually leads you by a little bit. That was a terrible all in. Well, that fold, understandable. To be fair to these guys, they're not getting dealt a whole lot of good cards. But I think that's all the more reason, like, when you get Delta Hand, like, Jack-10 suited, to be willing to go for it. It's better than what you've been getting dealt, and... You've been folding so much, people might think you have a lot better than Jack-10 suited. Seven's raise, Zeta poker. With kind of an ugly hand, does not get involved this time. Sevens! All in! But no one's calling him, so... Book Grant really operates in a different dimension than the rest of us do. <laughs> it takes so long to fold terrible hands. Or if they're not terrible, then they're at least unplayable in the particular spot. Mr. Pucci, with another very large all-in, I must say. He put in 8.8 .8 million so that he could pick up 1 million. Jeez, these two really aren't getting dealt anything. There's an ace. Yep. Book Grant still can't call you. He is speeding up a little bit, though. Book Grant finally with a hand, and Zeta Poker, probably willing to call, he's got him covered 12 to 1. Or 11 to 1. 
If it were PKO, it would be an easy call. Instead, he's actually thinking about it. He knows he can afford it. He just doesn't want to. Because he knows Book Grant's probably shoving with a pretty short range. But he does make the call anyway. He gets a little bit of help with the two. But no runner runners. It's just an ace or a two for him. Almost. Nope. Almost again. But Book Grant does survive. Zeta Poker is not going to have a free ride. Sad Spongebob. Of course, he's been sad Spongebob all night. Uh-oh. Book Grant's in trouble now. Misty with a, a bit of a decision, but I, I, I do like the fold there. Well, it's already been raised under the gun. Oh, just a call. Interesting. Zeta was probably thinking of just shoving and trying to clear out the riffraff. Would have gotten a pretty nasty surprise. I don't know why Mr. Pucho hasn't folded yet. Pretty nothing flop for both players. One joke sicker. Not really in the spot to bully anyone here. Only Zeta is in, is in a position to bully. They're both checking it down. They both are at least playing better than the board. Book Grant, though, not by much. He can only call here if he's hoping that he's up against an ace. Just a regular ace. Which he could be. So, not the worst call ever. Nice thin valley bet by one joke sicker. I, I, I probably would have shoved the king 10 there as well. You know, y y you're not going to be able to choose your shoving spots for much longer. The blinds have been 15300 for a while. They're going to go up very soon. Then what? They show up here. Nope. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't, but like, jeez. You have to pick a spot sometime. I can't disagree with that fold, though, by Book Grant. But it really does feel like these two are just playing to move up the money ladder. That will last each other and just be happy in fourth place. The other three are at least... Somewhat playing for first. Come on, you're under 10 bigs. King 10's good enough for that. You're about to be 7 bigs when the blinds go up. I assume. Unless they're 175, 350. And on top of it all, you're 5 handed. The blinds go around the table very quickly. You have to make a move. The robots are refusing to give these two easy decisions. He finally goes for it. And it's a good spot. I don't think Zeta's calling. There you go. There's an easy decision. Might get a call from Mr. Pucho. Might. It is a suited ace. This one he should think about. And look at that. He has full time bank. This is why you keep your time bank. And he makes the right decision. Very nice. Uh-oh. Oh, come on! Uh, King Queen suit is not good enough for you. Oh, it is 175, 350. But yeah, congratulations. You've got 10 big blinds again.
I can't really... Wow, another big all-in. I can't really rag on him too much, of course, because Missy also is all in there. A little hard to, to play King Queen suited when somebody else is already all in, and they're playing just as tight as you. Uh oh, here we go. No way Zeta folds here. It's only two million more. But Grant, let's get a move on. We know you're not playing. Thank you. What the? Oh, Zeta, Zeta, Zeta! You got to give him a spin of the a spin of the wheel there. Just snap fold. It was only two million more. You got twenty five. You have more than twenty five. And a couple of aces for Misi. Book Grant. Good thing he knows how to fold King Queen because he's gonna have to do it again here. Missy's starting to uh, pick up some cards and get back in this game a little bit. In fact, he's almost into third place. And now he can actually afford to fold a six suited. He doesn't have to play that hand. King Jack's certainly going to play. Oh my god, dude. Like, what happened to Zeta? Like, Zeta was willing to open shove 31 big blinds with, like, pocket sixes not that long ago, and now he's folding King Jack? I don't know what's gotten into him, but he's playing very differently now. Right, so these two both have gut shots. Mr. Pucha looking for a nine, and One Joke Sicker looking for a king. And he does decide to call with his draw. It was a pretty small bet. One joke, Sicker. See the deuce on the turn, which never changes anything, anytime, anywhere, for any reason. As Norman Chab would say. That's a big enough bet. Mr. Pucho has no business calling this one. No business. Unless he's thinking of a sick all-in. Okay. But see, he didn't waste enough time to, to eat into his time bank, though. He's smart. Okay, and he's right back to just overshoving. Hmm. Eight six 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 seven seven. Missy with no reason to play that. What do these guys want to do? He's gonna shove, and it's gonna work. Now, both Zeta and Mr. Pucho are not afraid to stick their whole their, their whole stack in there. Quite the opposite, in fact. They're happy to stick their whole stack in there. He's pro Pucho's probably about to do it again. Nope. Just a min race. One joke sicker with maybe enough to call. Nope. Book Grant will just call and probably move all in on that on that board. I don't know why he's only betting seven hundred thousand when he's got literally four big blinds behind. But this should work anyway. Mr. Pucho has none of that. Why did he call? Why did he call? And now Book Grant even has a pair. All in. Mr. Pucho, you've got ace high and no draw. He called! <laughs> what was that? What was that? I don't know how you did it, but Grant, but congratulations, you doubled up. You are now the coveted fourth place. And you're 
now both in a spot where you can afford to fold a few hands now. See to poker now. Well, now he really can just go all in every other hand and not get punished too badly for it. Those are the regular raids with Dola Brunson's hand. A simple bet should take this one down. And now we basically have a four-way tie for second. Zeta just <laughs> going after it. This is the dream spot for Zeta. Like I said, he, he can legitimately just go all in and not get punished too badly. Because these guys are all worried about surviving each other. Outlasting each other. They don't want to be the next one out because they know somebody else is just as likely to do it. Here we go. This is pretty much automatic. Let's frip. Diamonds. No one's got diamonds. So Book Grant's okay. Book Grant is not okay. He's going to need one of two jacks or else Zeta has an even more ridiculous chip lead. Oh. Well, Book Grant, you took your time. But you did manage a, that one cool double up. Good job making it to the final table, and good job making it to fifth place. You didn't go you, you did not go down without at least a little bit of a fight. I'll give you that. So five thousand five hundred five dollars for you. How many fives can you possibly have? Jeez. <laughs> Zeta, not with an all-in, but a pretty hefty raise. Went seven. Mr. Pucho with a tempting hand to call with. He is going to try. And that's not a bad flop. Pairing a straight draw. If you're short and you hit... I kind of advocate just going for it right th right here and now. Zeta trying to help you along by <laughs> betting, but Mr. Pucho just with the call. And that ace on the turn is not going to make him feel any better about his hand. I would have just shoved there. Mr. Pucho. To me, that's enough of a hit being short stacked that I just want to pick up the pot right now. And if not, I know I've got outs. He just does not take the poker gods up on this offer. He's hit a poker with 10 high. But an opponent who is clearly unwilling to risk anymore. He goes for the all-in bluff. Mr. Pucho. <laughs> Kick it himself, probably, and does fold the best hand. Making me feel better about the way I play poker and wondering why it, it doesn't work when I play. But it doesn't. And uh, as much as I would love to be tempted to come, to come back into it, I'm still indefinitely suspending myself. Mr. Pucha with an all-in hand for sure. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please, this has been such an enjoyable final table. Don't ruin it. That's a standard 3x. That's okay. Kongs! There's really no post-flop play left until these guys bust, bust each other out a little bit. I 
How does Missy fold King Jack there? How? Four-handed with 11 big blinds left. Ace 10 is good enough, apparently. Mr. Pucho with a decision himself. Ace 9. And I do mean decision. This is a tough one. I'm not sure what I'd do here, to be honest with you. I would take a lot of time myself. This feels like pump it or dump it. He does at least have somewhat of an option to just call, but he does fold. Another good laydown. Again, time bank well spent. Zeta just free to spam. Spam he is. Even with pocket nines, he, he's got to be feeling pretty good. And ace eight's definitely good enough at this point. He's got to take a stand at some somewhere down the line. And that is an extremely safe board for pocket nines. That's no good. Oh, wait, actually, it is good. If another king comes, then the pocket nines are nullified, and the ace kicker will actually work for Mr. Pucho. So he needs an ace or a king. Oh, so close. But Mr. Pucho is out of here. Zeta poker. Just terminating everything that comes his way. Mr. Pucho used his time bank wisely, and that helps him get to $7,541. Oh, one joke sticker's next to spin the wheel. And he's got a pair. Didn't really need the pair, but it helps him a little bit. If Zeta Poker happens to hit a pair of his own. Which he does not. There you go. Finally, some resistance to Zeta Poker. Trip threes for one joke sicker. Missy was just trying to fold his way into fourth place. He's managed to fold his way into third. And again, he's really not getting dealt much, to be fair to him. Aces. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a game now. <laughs> and the board paired on the turn, meaning that, meaning that the six is no longer any good for Zeta Poker. He's going to need a 10 and a 10 only. Nope. The Aces hold. One joke sicker. 15.2 million chips. Which I think is the most anybody not named Zeta Poker has had at this whole final table so far. Zeta's actually going to tr treat him uh, with a lot more respect now. And he should fold this hand too. Missy forced to go with six queen. Very happy to pick that one up. But, I mean, man, this, this guy needs some cards. Give this guy some cards! That's not gonna cut it. One joke, Slicker trying to try a different strategy to get all his chips. <laughs> but he's just being so card dead. Bad timing again by Zeta Poker. One joke sicker picking up the big hands at just the right time. And now about to really turn up the heat. Zeta's got to fold now. Okay, yeah, you wasted some more time there.
What a dramatic turnaround this has suddenly turned out to be. Zeta Poker down to 26.6. One joke sicker up to 20 million. And this illustrates my point earlier about just shoving willy nilly. <laughs> it can turn awfully quick in this game. Missy, I think, has no choice but to play. It's King High. <laughs> yeah, he has to. And, oh uh, boy. Oh, not, not bad, actually. Again, a six would give Missy the best hand. Because the fives would be nullified. Okay, that's just not fair. Fives full for Zeta Poker. <laughs> And the only reason why he's not drawing dead is a 10 could come and chop it with 10s full of 5s. Oh! <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't... I'm not even sure Missy's happy with that. I think he was ready to just get up and leave, but the robots are prolonging his torture even longer. What kind of ridiculous run out was that? I'll slow it down just in case Zeta decides to take him for a spin. I don't think he will. It's not a PKO. Okay, now they're going to take him for a spin. <laughs> Missy finally gets dealt Ace-King and it's no good. The robots hate him. The robots really hate him. Which makes it all the more impressive that he's made it, made it to third place. He's made a fake tanking to a uh, unhealthy degree, I'd say. And King of Hearts. Oh, and running three five could work. Three of hearts. The robots have suddenly given him a lot of outs, which means he's going to break the river. Yep. I understand. I know. I know robots. I've been with robots all my life. I I know when <laughs> when they want to troll you, they're gonna go for all the stops. Missy, congratulations on third place. I know it's a little critical of you by how tight you were, but now I just see the robots were out for you, so you were doing the right things. Oh my goodness, what a flop that is. Zeta with open-ended straight draw and flush draw. J one joke sicker with middle pair. Even the Shepherd's Cane couldn't take Zeta Poker away from this pot right now. Just a call. Straight! Although its value has diminished somewhat, considering all he needed was the 5. The 2 is irrelevant now. Now he leads out. To be honest, I'm re not really sure how how you're supposed to play this, especially heads up, because if you check, chances are one joke sicker is going to check behind. He's gonna I try to act like he's bluffing, but one joke sicker is too smart for it. He does get rid of his cards and walks away from that one almost unscathed, and a much better flop for him here. Zeta does not want to see a six, that's for sure. Wait a minute, isn't this the second time in a row that the guy on the bottom is heads up against the guy on the top of the table? Huh. Last time it was the guy on the top who won. Let's see what happens this time. Ooh. Well, that is, a, that is the correct play, I think. And Zeta Poker with no reason to stick around. There's an argument that his hands are maybe a little too strong to raise, especially now that we're heads up. I think at a full handed table, that's a good play, but maybe heads up, it would have been better to just call and try to let it drag out. Because either you finish second or you finish first. You know, you gotta, you have to uh, kind of 
binary eyes your mentality. I have no idea how to say that. <laughs> but, you know, one or zero. One or zero. Either you beat him or you don't. Every hand you should be trying to extract as much as you possibly can out of your opponent. That'll help. Just bluffing three million with eight high. I love how our heads up guys are both crying. They're both crying and they're both non-human. Nine hundred and ninety eight players entered to remain. And they both have plenty of chips to work with. One joke sicker with nine high and back doors, but yeah, I would just fold that. Getting dealt a lot of crappy cards. So if it wasn't for that bar at the bottom, I'd say we should be here for a while. But clearly we're about to get dealt a huge cooler one way or the other. Zeta with a very ugly hand, but a six would give him a straight. They were the most disguised straight of all time. Ten. Never mind. One joke sicker with bottom pair. Not really much to go off. If Zeta bets, one joke sick. Four million. I mean, that's the most obvious bluff ever, but one joke sicker with just bottom pair. Maybe would have been thinking to keep him honest if he had bet one million, but four million? That's a quarter of his own stack. And he does like to play it safe. More terrible cards. Small pair versus ace king. Zeta going for the three bet. One joke sicker is ready to go for it right now. And we have a very nice looking flop for Ace King. <laughs> Coupled with two spades that Zeta Poker can also use. Zeta Poker. Really, any card 10 or above would be very helpful because there's another chance to counterfeit those fives. And it's a king. Zeta Poker hits the pair. One joke sicker needs to hit a five and a five only, or this is all over. It's another king. Why not just overkill? Zeta Poker takes the title. One joke sicker rallied and did his absolute best from <laughs> desperation mode, but can't quite finish the job. Still second place, though. $14,151. 19309 for Zeta Poker, and Zeta Poker did it without a single rebuy. Extra credit to you. Charlie AB rebought 11 times. What the heck, dude? Why? <laughs> and Sheriff Joe in 11th place. He finished 11th out of 998 and barely profited. Actually, I don't think he... he no, he, he, he lost money. He finished 11th out of 998 and he lost money. I really don't condone rebuying that much. I really don't. <coughs> anyway. Congratulations to everybody. Zeta Poker doesn't get any better than that. You beat 997 other people and you never rebought. Alright, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you when I see you. With, again, unfortunately, 
I'll hold them, but, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did.